Fairy tale retellings and adaptations suck. They really do. And I'm not talking about film or TV adaptations of fairy tale books. I'm talking about adaptations of fairy tale books that are made into other books. You know, the type of books that take the original fairy tale and retell it in a different way. Maybe from the perspective of another character or in modern day, or retell it in another genre completely, or something else wacky. You get the point. Almost every single one of these types of books that I've read have sucked, and you probably want me to explain myself for this affront on fairy tale retellings, and I will, I promise. But first, I think it's worth exploring why fairy tale retellings are so appealing in the first place. And yes, you've guessed it, they're appealing to me too. Okay, so what's the appeal of a fairy tale retelling anyway? Well, retellings in general have always been really popular because it's part of our culture of storytelling. Folk tales, plays, and other oral or live stories were always retold and reinvented for each audience. They were also always adapted because each time they were told, the storyteller would add or remove things from the story they were told to make it their own. It was only when these stories were written down did they stick, and even then through translation, loss of work, or simply wanting to adapt them into something else, these fairy tales kept changing. Take Cinderella for example. The first written, not oral version of Cinderella was seen recorded in China in 850 AD. Since then, it's been adapted many times. Some of the best fairy tales have stood the test of time, and there's a reason why they're so popular. But if they're so good, these original fairy tales, then why not just reread them? Why read retellings too? Well, you may actually do this already. You may reread your favorite fairy tale over and over and maybe to death, but you're still hungry for something more. And that's where a retelling steps in because it will give you more of the story you know and love. We can look at this one a bit like fan fiction. The point of fan fiction is to give readers more of the characters and the story the original author is no longer going to write about. Well, they are, but the reader loves the author's work so much they want more right now. Fan fiction can give you more story from a character, show how relationships with other characters could work, create completely new characters, what would happen if one small thing was changed in the original story, and so much more. Retellings aren't all that different. Authors will do a lot of the things that fanfiction writers will do because they want more from a story that they love. Or you might like retellings because you simply don't like the original fairy tales style of writing anymore and you prefer something a little bit more modern. Classic fairy tales were written for a different time. They may be slower, more descriptive, or simply use words that we just wouldn't use today. If this is the case, a modern retelling of a fairy tale will bring that fairy tale into a more modern language that readers might find more enjoyable now. It's not a translation of the original fairy tale, but you'll get the story all the same. Original fairy tales are also generally quite grim and dark. If you're not so into that, a new one might be easier to read and much less gruesome especially if it's made for a young adult audience. Having said this, if you quite like the grim, dark, and violent nature of the original fairy tales, retellings can still give you that, but rewritten for a modern audience's tastes. Retellings are also popular in the young adult space because they rely on things like tropes and archetypes to build their storytelling. Tropes like true love, chosen ones, a hero's hidden identity, don't go into the woods, and so much more. Young adult fantasy tends to do this too, so fairy tale retellings slot really nicely into the young adult space. Or, and this is a big one, when you were younger you may have loved a certain fairy tale, but now you're older and you kind of know stuff, the themes within that fairy tale might just not sit right. You know? I'm talking content warning stuff. Racism, sexism, homophobia, classism, you name it, an old fairy tale has probably got it. Let's take one of my favorite fairy tales from when I was a child, Peter Pan. Among other things, J.M. Barry's description of Native Americans within the book is rooted in racism. Something that writers are still struggling to correct today, and Disney certainly didn't. 
Similarly, a lot of older Western fairy tales were written by white men, so you can bet that the cast of characters in these fairy tales weren't exactly diverse or written with any care at all. Modern retellings of older fairy tales can correct this imbalance if done well. They can diversify when there's no diversity, they can course correct older storytelling decisions, they can represent characters well, and if they want, they can completely change the story to give wronged characters their revenge. Newer messages can also be added to older fairy tales. For example, Cinderella once becoming a princess may have been inspiring, but now readers might want to see her become a businesswoman, a queen in her own right, or a warrior or something. Readers might want to see things like racism, sexism, and environmental concerns and more included in their new fairy tale retellings to make it more accessible to a modern audience. And the beauty of a retelling is that an author can do essentially whatever they like, all while using the original source material. So with all this in mind, why do I still feel like fairy tale retellings suck? Everyone who reads a classic fairy tale has their own experience with the characters and the story within that fairy tale. So when it comes to adapting it or rewriting it, an author is giving you their experience with the characters and the story, which will likely not match up to yours. For example, a character you love growing up for certain reasons could be written in a retelling to have a personality that just doesn't feel right to you. They're not what you expected, so it jolts you out of the new story, which makes it kind of rare for somebody to really enjoy a retelling. Let's go back to the Peter Pan example for me. My memories of Peter Pan as a character are fond ones. To me, he represents a kind of whimsy, one that promises fun over all else. He doesn't want to grow up, and he's incredibly stubborn about it, which makes him complicated, as well as annoying. So when I read a Peter Pan retelling, and I've read quite a few, I'm looking for those qualities that I really enjoy in the Peter Pan character to be within the book. Even if he is evil, or has a different name, or looks completely different, if some of those personality quirks that I know and love aren't within the character Peter Pan, then I'm left a little bit disappointed. Plus, if you read a fairy tale in your childhood or even your teen years, you're probably remembering it differently or remembering different things about it than somebody else would. You may even be sugarcoating some of the themes within the book because your childhood mind looks at things differently than you would look at things now. So if your retelling does pick up on those things or uses them as a theme within the book, you might struggle with their presence because it clouds your initial experience with the source material. This is probably a good thing, but if you're looking for that fanfiction experience and that ooey gooey feeling in your tummy from reading a fairy tale retelling, and all you get is a punch in the face, then you're probably not going to enjoy it as much. When you read a fairy tale retelling, you're kind of looking for that same feeling that you felt when you read the original fairy tale, but you're also looking for something new, which as an author is incredibly hard to achieve and probably impossible. Because like I said earlier, everybody's experience with the source material is completely different. So while you may have a group of people who loved a retelling, you'll also have another group who didn't like it at all, because it didn't match up to their expectations. So the question is, how does an author create a retelling that contains all of the things that readers loved about the original fairy tale, while also making it different? Well, the answer is, they rarely do. Which is why I am still trying to find a Peter Pan retelling that I actually like. One that ticks all my personal boxes. It may never happen, but I'm sure as hell gonna keep trying. Fairy tale retellings may suck, but I'm still gonna keep reading them. Do you like fairy tale retellings? And if so, which one? Leave me a comment. Oh, and if you like other opinion based book stuff, check out this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.